Melbourne has just gone into a stage four lockdown under state of disaster powers that came into effect just this minute. We're facing six weeks under the toughest restrictions in the nation, including a nightly curfew that starts at eight o'clock. So today is Monday, the 3rd of August, 2020, and we've just been told by the Victorian state government that Melbourne is going back into a stage four lockdown. Essentially what this means for us photographers is that we're not allowed to go outside and do work and do shoots. And now I'm stuck at home with nothing to do for the next few weeks, which obviously sucks. But I wanna come out of this lockdown as strong as possible. So I thought what better time to improve my website and see if I can get a few more clients so that I can start shooting again after lockdown. So I decided to call up a few of my friends who are all professional photographers. That's Julia Trotti, Julian Lalu, TK North and Mitch Lally. And I asked them what they think I can do with my website and how I can improve it. The way I currently present my portfolio in commercial food and portraits, it's all quite diverse and not very well categorized. So I wanted to get their opinions on what they thought of it personally, and also to see it from a client's perspective when trying to hire a photographer. Hope you guys enjoy this video because my friends give some really good insight into how I can improve my website. And I also have a part two video of this where I'll actually use their advice and improve my website in its next iteration. All right, without further ado, let's listen to what they have to say and please enjoy. So on first glance here, I kind of love the all white sort of look that you've gone for. I really like clean websites. And in terms of like this opening image, I think you know that this is one of my favorite uh, shoots of yours. So it's a beautiful image. It's really striking. I think it really kind of draws the eye in nicely for whoever's going to look at it. My only sort of thing at first glance is that I think your name and logo is a little bit lost. Having it over on the side, I'd probably like to see that a little bit bigger and a little bit more prominent. And then sort of coming down, nice little spill. I know there's sort of two ways of going about and about me. Some people go with that third person, which I personally don't like because most people know you created your own website to, <laughs> so, to talk about yourself in the first person. The third person, sorry, is a little bit is a little bit weird for mine, but maybe personalize it a little bit more by having your name in it. Um, whether that be third person or first person, I guess that's that's completely your call. In terms of the contact me, I wouldn't have it on the homepage, but if you do want it on the homepage, I just put um, maybe the let's, either the let's work together as kind of a heading to that contact me or put in a little heading in there because it, it kind of all is just blending into one from the beautiful image into your about me, into your contact. There's kind of no separation in that. So that's kind of my initial thoughts on the homepage. All right, so I find that it's really interesting that your homepage is directly like the contact page to get in contact with you straight away. I feel like that's a really cool idea because it makes it super easy to get in contact with you. I feel like I would want to see more of your photos on this homepage and the contact page, especially if someone doesn't really click around on any other links. I would kind of want to see when I go to your homepage, just at a glance, a little bit of everything that you do and the services that you offer. So I love the photo that you have there. It's like a really nice connection between the model and the camera. So I feel like that's such a great banner image to have on your homepage. Mm. But I feel like I would also love to see a little bit more of your food photography as well and the other types of photography that you want to be hired for. And then in this little segment that you wrote on your homepage, I really like that it's short and sweet and straight to the point. And it mentions some important things such as where you're based so clients know where they can hire you from. Also some of the work that you do and also where you've been published as well. I feel like that's really important and something that people would like to know before they get in contact with you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel like the biggest point that I have for your homepage is to have those images that reflect what you've written in your description about yourself. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would make a really big difference. Initial thoughts, like great photo to choose for the landing page. I think that kind of shows your work pretty well. The only thing, and this is something I've thought about and had feedback from other people in the past with my website, and sometimes it's better to have like a, a few images or scrolling through a couple of images on your homepage just so if someone loses interest quickly, which hopefully like when you're attracting people to your site, you really want them to be drawn in from the first page. So I'm not sure whether some of this like contact info is better on the first page or to have 
even just a link to that or maybe scroll down a bit lower to that kind of what you what you're after if if you're really trying to get people replying and, and hitting you up it it may be a good standpoint to have it so obvious on the home page as well i love this image it's, it's a good one to pick so this is your front page so we've landed on or this is your landing page so this is the first thing people see oh, i like the photo it's a really nice photo. I think it kind of it really does explain you, like in your, your style in one image. I think it does it does that. The thing about the paragraph, I think straight away when you're talking about somebody or something, you either refer to it like in the first person or in the third person. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like a sentence to me. That's a, that's an easy fix. So for me, like for a landing page, I've always had like a certain flow that it follows. Um, and I think it's a good idea to put the contact form or the call to action last. Um, so that's good that it's at the bottom. However, okay, I haven't really experienced enough of you yet to want to actually go to that contact page. I would want to see more. I would want to navigate to other pages first, and then I would go back to the main page and then fill out that form. But instead of going back to the home page, wouldn't it just make sense to go to the contact form? Like maybe a little bit redundant having that that there. Yeah, I think for me, it's like the flow that I've followed the home page is put your hero images first. I definitely think it's worth putting a series of images. You've already shown that you do multiple genres of photography. So I like that it's simple, but um, I think that adding a few other images could actually add a little bit more. Getting to know who you are just straight off the bat. It's really important to um, describe um, into one sentence that's like, this is what I do and this is why I do it. I guess uh, give a, a little bit more information or a lot more information about who you are and what you do. Sorry if I'm like ranting like crazy. <laughs> I love it. Or it's all coming cool. out. I really like the idea of the, the grid. It's really nice and clean, but and people can get a snapshot without having to click through individual images. And it also, I think it, it loads really fast. I find with a lot of photographers' websites, so focused on keeping this beautiful high resolution quality image that the images take forever to load. And I'm probably guilty of it too. I've probably got images on mine that it's like the whole page is loaded and then there's one still ticking over. So I'm probably being a bit of a hypocrite here mm -hmm. by saying that, but I think it's, it's really nice. The grid idea is really great to give that really fast loading, quick glance at your whole portfolio. Oh, I love how the images fill up the whole screen. That looks so nice. I love full screen websites. They're just so visually pleasing for me. And you just like, yeah, get to see a collection of all your work, which by the way is beautiful. I love your photos oh, so, so you. much. <laughs> um, here I'm looking at, at it on my iMac, which is like a gigantic screen. So I've got six images across and three images down. One of the cons that I feel like uh, a layout like this has is that it's different on every screen. So when I'm looking at it here, I kind of wish that the entire screen was filled with photos. So you've got like the beautiful grid layout, but then the last two on my screen is just blank. So it mm. kind of doesn't look finished off almost. Mm. But yeah, I, I do really love the grid layout. And then, yeah, so when you click on a photo, you get the light box where you have like the full screen of the image and it's really easy to click through. Your website also loads really fast as well. Like I don't have to wait at all when I click next. I was wondering if maybe having a little bit of text on these portfolio pages would be interesting as well. Mm. Like maybe when you click on a photo, it could have um, like a little description down the bottom or something that tells you maybe like what the client is or what the point of that particular photo shoot was like what feel like I would really like to see that I feel like it would be interesting to read a little bit more about each photo for me this may work really well as a home page because bam I can see your work if you click straight into that like you've got a broad rate of images some people just go to the home page and that that's might be all they see if you click here and you see something like that you've got so many great images there already that comes from feedback that I've been given on my website in the past something i always think about now for sure but this is great man i love there's like different colors here it just works really well on the desktop the sizes of the image are enough that you're getting i can see a lot but they're still big enough that you can can see them in in pretty pretty big detail beautiful so more galleries of individual commercial work which look great again in the grid format and you've got a little spiel about them, which I think is important. My only comment on that would be when I click commercial, I would like something to happen. Maybe it go to a landing page of commercial and then you've got that grid. Each grid is an individual commercial shoot, maybe with the name on it or the name underneath it. 
Um, that's how I personally got mine set up as well. But yeah, I'd like something to happen when you click commercial, even if it goes to a landing page with one image on it and it says, you know, I work with commercial, and you a little spiel about your commercial work, but I think something needs to happen when you click commercial. People don't spend a lot of time on your website. I don't know what's what, so I don't know what appeals to me and my needs yes. um, just by that. Whereas if I saw the grid and an image of each one, I'd go, oh, okay, so he's done work with um, Alpaca, which is, you know, similar to my product. Okay, click on that one rather than going through all of them to find what I need. Because by that time, people have probably lost interest in moving on. Okay, so this grid layout on my computer looks a lot better because the icons fill the whole screen and I have to like scroll down to look at them a little bit more. I really like the photos that you've um, chosen to include on the website too. I feel like looking through them, it's super clear what the the concept and the idea for the shoot was to show off these products. One thing, looking at all these photos together, I kind of feel like they would look nice if you mix them up a little bit because at the moment you have like the first four photos are on that kind of cliff side and then the next four photos are in the forest and then you've got the two photos with the darker lights and then the product photos yeah. at the end. I feel like it could look nice if you kind of mix matched all of mm. them together rather than having them like in segments. Oh, okay. So this page has a different layout. It looks a little bit more like a blog post. But yeah, I do love, I love how this one's got some more text so you know a little bit more about the image, the images that you've taken. I love this layout of images. I think it's really interesting to look at. And then it also helps you um, make the images that you love the most stand out more as well by making them the bigger picture. But yeah, I really love the ones, the pages that have a bit more of a description of what you shot. I think that's always really helpful, like as a client to see what kind of things that you're capable of and who else you've worked with too. Like having one, two, maybe three sentences, just like a quick description. Yeah, that's why I feel like text can help a lot in situations like this. Cause like, I feel like the images that you've picked to include on your website do make it clear that it's about the outfits like as you scroll through you're like oh yeah the outfits are very prominent in this photo shoot but just in case like to make things clear for people who may not realize that the text it helps <laughs> i like the way that you um have it here in separated by brands that you've worked with i feel like you could maybe order them in a different way so for example i would put alpaca gear first and then i would add lower fifth to be second because you've got like a similar kind of look to those photos and then I'd put maybe Donya and then the events kind of last just so it's like in a similar order so you'd go from like fashion to events to music and instead of having them all mixed up yeah it's hard sometimes with templates it's hard to find something that works for everything that you mm. want to present um but yeah I do like the blog layout though but I do feel like the fluid grid layout kind of works better as it looks nice on every single screen Whereas the blog layout on my screen, the more than half the screen is just white negative space. Right, right. So it's kind of less visually appealing, if that makes sense. Go down, commercial, nice. Again, the overall layout, I think the, the size of the images is great and you can still open them up and, and see them um, a lot larger, which is great. Again, like you've kind of differentiated here, it may depend on brand a little bit or, or depending on what who the client was, what you want to showcase. It definitely gives it more of that kind of blog feel as opposed to a gallery. Something like this where you think that text is important, like you, you probably wanted to, to show what she was and who she was about, I'm assuming. I think it works pretty well. I think I probably prefer generally, unless like there's some text that you really want to get in the, the, this layout, just because you get those images there all together ready to go kind of having to scroll down through them so again i think it works quite well for this style because it's kind of as you scroll down telling the story a little bit for me rather than just having all the images there that you can see straight away and i think i, I don't mind that that you've got different layouts like i don't think even though they're all under the commercial sex section I don't think they necessarily have to be all the same. So I quite like it how you've grouped it there. I think for this one, it works well. Whereas for something like this, just having the images there works better. And again, with that one, like I wouldn't see any need to, to have text with that one. So I think that works well. I really like the layout of these pages. These kind of, these grids, like they tell a story with each line. I really like your choice of, of images that you selected as well. Oh, cool. You've got some more. Yeah, I was going to say add some writing. That's really nice. I think as well, um, especially with the commercial portfolio one thing that i really think is like super underrated is is also like hearing from the person that you actually worked with on that project so for example you could add some of the images a little bit of your pop 
portfolio and then you might put like a little testimonial down the bottom. That's always something that I've done with my wedding work. Yeah, I don't think every page has to be the same. I think it's kind of cool that you've mixed it up a little bit and, and chosen different layouts. Um, I guess as long as it still communicates what you want it to communicate to the person that's looking at your website, then yeah, definitely. But also you're an artist, so you, you probably know best, right? You, 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 wanna, you wanna like know how your images look. You know, like right. that's important right. to you. Yeah, as a, as a photographer, they wanna have control over that. Oh, these are beautiful. Did you style these? Uh, I had a hand in styling them as well, yeah. Yeah, they're great. Well, especially these these ones through the middle, but I'm getting a bit sidetracked here. <laughs> this food. Have you just picked some of your favorite food shoots or? Yeah, these look great. All right, so moving on to food. Whoa, that's so pretty. Yeah, this is stunning. I love all the colors and textures and all the images here. That's mm. what I mean. The grid layout is just so like, it really just catches your eye and draws you in and you get to see a little bit of everything on the screen. Yeah, these are all stunning. Okay, and then we've got another blog post layout. I love all these food um, grids. They're so pretty. These with less images, I think it would look better if they were in a grid as well, even though you've got slightly less photos to share. Okay, yep. Just so it's like all uniform. Yeah, just, yeah, the grid layout is just so, um, like, drives me in to, like, look at it. And then the blog post, you've only got, like, one image to look at. So I feel like I feel quite a difference when I'm clicking from one page to the other and it's constantly changing. Mm. I feel like it would look nicer if they were all the same. Nice, man. I'm going to get hungry looking <laughs> at this. Did you have one? These are amazing, man. I didn't know you, you shot a lot of food, to be honest. So, yeah, nice to see as well. I love the colours and how um, how this, these shots were set up as well in the garden. Oh, it's amazing. Let's have a bit more of a look at this food stuff. It is nice that the site allows you to click through here as well rather than just having to click here. You've got the little arrows, which is good. I've actually seen some of your food shots before, dude. These are so good. Yeah, really awesome. I don't know, just feels so it feels like you've been doing food photography for like 15 years <laughs> just looking at these photos it's like whoa so now that i've heard all of their amazing advice i'm going to put it to the test and use their advice in my next website iteration that will be in my next video so i hope you guys stick around for that and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below which piece of advice you thought was your favorite if you want to see more content from me please hit the subscribe button down there and I hope you all stay strong and stay safe during this quarantine period. Even if it's just Melbourne right now, I don't know about the rest of the world. But yeah, hope you guys stay strong and stay safe and peace out.